What's up guys, it's Black and back in RH today. We got another shot cast going on in the bottom. In his baby blue, we have Creo playing as France. Creo's been around for about six or seven months now, maybe eight or nine, somewhere around there. Uh, decent player, a little bit on the passive side. Does not like longbows, that's okay. Maybe if I say it enough, he'll finally start using them. And up here in the top, playing as his yellow Ukraine, it is Trip T. He's uh, kind of the guy I think of when I think of Raggle and any stat you want, he's got. Looks like this is going to be on uh, Sidjizzy, or however you want to say it. It's uh, very hard for me to pronounce, but it's a, it's an okay map. Its biggest problem is that there's no really middle lane. Uh, it's just this left side, and it's just this right side. And, uh, you know, there's no reason to ever really go in the middle just because it is so choky. So this comp center really doesn't do anything at all. Like... Uh, Kriya's gonna come over here with the Rival Scout and just, you know, kind of make sure Trip T doesn't capture it because what else are you gonna do on this map? There's only these two, uh, oil derricks in the middle. But, uh, yeah, you just, you kind of get stuck on this side or you kind of get stuck on this side and there's, there's nowhere to go. So this could be a very long game. Both these players are, I think, on the passive side of things. Especially Kriya, he likes to tech up and, you know, slowly whittle away. Like this Sarf Scout's gonna go down there from Trip T. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, I think Trip T can be a little bit more aggressive, so maybe he can get this game over with quickly if he's uh, on his game, but we'll see how it turns out. Trip T gonna come in here with uh, quite a substantial amount of rifles, just to make sure, you know, Trip T's not capturing, which he's not. I don't know where his engineer went. Ah, oh, there it is. It's back in space. So he's gonna come down and capture it, but then again, once this gets captured, like, it maybe kind of cuts this off for you, but that's about it. Like, you don't really see too much outside that. Looks like Rio went for a War Factory before second ref. Uh, I kind of like this. There's no reason to go double ref on this map too much since you're not gonna... I mean, I guess it's kind of close. You could do like a rush or something like that, but generally I don't think uh, double ref fares too well on this map. Trip T on the other side. Looks like he's doing double ref. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see if he goes for a third ref here. Uh, I feel like if you don't go for a third ref on double ref, you are tend to be behind. But at the same time, like you can, you can kind of move out here, and then you can kind of move your main MCV somewhere over here, and then as long as you have a rifle scout here, like you're pretty well protected. This light, uh, light tank's gonna come in. Engineer's probably gonna get away. One more shot. Ah, oh, just gets it. Uh, you know, engineer really done his job at this point. He's got the comm center. These rifle scouts are just gonna die too. But that light tank probably shouldn't kill that by the time these rockets get down there. But you know, probably best just keep him in base just in case uh, Kriya does have something to follow up with, but he's just ecoing up right now. Uh, this comm center might slowly, slowly die, but it's going to take a full minute for it. But then again, as you can see, with it actually captured, like, you don't even get this cut off, so it, it really does absolutely nothing. Maybe this was just, like, a few cells smaller, it might actually be worth it. Or if this oil derrick was a little bit closer, you could kind of cut that off. I've seen some apps like that, and I think that's like a kind of cool idea where it's, like, you have these uh, tech buildings just to kind of connect the spaces. Trip T's going to come down here, but he's not going to save this in time, especially if he's uh, a little bit more passive on that. But looks like he did go triple ref, and uh, he's just doing a standard build. SD's coming out. SD's already out for Creel, which is surprisingly early. Uh, looks like his time is actually a little bit off, too, because he's still building. Oh, never mind. He's his time is right. He's got four harvesters. I missed this one down here. And I was gonna say if you only had three harvesters in the building at SD, that's a or an MCV. That's kind of a little too quick. Uh, the four harvester SD kind of with War Factory first has really fallen out of favor in recent years. Uh, defense is kind of as good as they are. They just aren't as good as a standard like rifle rocket army early game, especially from a double ref. So. He's going to move out to the right side, which I think is the right idea. It's kind of where you want to go first, and this is where you want to go second. Uh, I've tried to, like, quickly expand here after here just to see if I can cut my opponent off and open this map up a little bit, but even then, you don't really open it up too much. I do like this from Trip T. Looks like he is going to be a little bit aggressive and kind of poking on this one harvester. Uh, Creo is allies, and I've seen him build mechanics before. He also loves his mine layer. Uh, this is probably going to be a great place to mi lay mines later in the game. Uh, if Trip T goes in now, he could snack a harvester, but it looks like a uh, crew might be just sensing it. I mean, this is like the most prominent side you're gonna attack first, and he's also already moving out his main MCVA like this. But it looks like he's gonna pull his own army there. So if Trip T goes in, you know, in about 30 seconds, which he's gonna get that tank in front, which looks good, 
this could be actually pretty good. That Rifle Scout's gonna see the army over there, which is actually really nice. And he, yeah, he's just kind of camping the ore, but yeah, there you go. He should go all the way in. Uh, he could even kill the Harvester and the ref and get out of there. Harvester's gonna get retreated away, that's fine. And he's just gonna take the ref. I think that's totally fine. Uh, yeah, he could actually go in right now. This tank's really far out of position. Oh, and he's being very aggressive with the face push here. I, I like this at all. Like, this is not what I was expecting at all. This is very aggressive. And Bruce kind of caught off guard here. Doesn't really have a whole lot. And he's got this one tank here. And with this base, this could actually be over really quickly. Really good engagement here. Bruce's tank's kind of caught in the back. That's a really good pillbox, but it is going to slowly get whittled away. Another tank going down. This tank's definitely going to get her down. And uh, Trip is in a really good position here. He needs to... Okay. I don't disagree with that. This pillbox is going to get a lot of value, though. Yeah, that he needs like another flame tower right here just so he can keep pushing that. Uh, get that tank in front. Uh, he's just out of pillbox range. It's good. But it gets that tank in front, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, and a testicle, too. That's... that's. So this is going really well for Creo. He hasn't... Or Tip Tree. He hasn't touched his eco in a long time. That's okay, because he's got the War Factory down. And he can just kind of clear the space. He needs to probably hunt down this MCV. Yeah, he had flak earlier, but nice if he kept it alive, but that's alright. Getting the SD, briefly low power, but he's fixing that. And it looks like there's a single engine over here, but he's got plenty of flame towers, that's gonna die. Just needs to assault move through here, kill all the power, that's gonna really hurt Creo. And yeah, he's kind of stuck on these one patch right here. He does have this over here, so if Ripti does forget about it, that could be kind of bad, but... He's in a really good position here. This was really refreshing to see this quick and early base push like this, and it definitely caught Korea off guard. But those mines, they they actually might come into play if he retreats this army there. But I, I mean, unless he hits every single mine, I think he'll be okay. Maybe that pillbox is going to be really good too. See, he's trying to target fire there, but it looks like he was missing most of the rockets. And uh, Tripti is just going to retreat back here, which is fine. He's even just, you know, harvesting here, which is... Always good to see. It looks like he's really on top of Zico. I really like that he's, uh, you know, splitting off just a little bit here, just to make sure the crew is not over here. But he should know that the MCV went this way. That's where really where he should be trekking. Uh, I bet he mean it's okay if he just wants to base bust this right here. He could probably just bring the same uh, MCV over here, just deploy it. And I like that he's trying to repair this tank, but it's gonna find the mines. Plunk. Uh, yeah, if he goes in right now, I mean, he only has the one tank, unfortunately, since he just lost that one. Uh, I don't know if he actually has enough to deal with this. This this could be a slaughter. There's a lot of rocks there. A fourth pillbox comes to the front. That said, if crew does engage outside these pillbox, uh, he might take a bad engagement here, but it looks like he just has the, the surround. Take a quick peek at the army stats. Yeah, this is really good. 23 to 13, that's double. Uh, almost double. And that's kind of what you want. If, once you get to there, it's, it's really hard to come back, but... Creo's out of ore on this side, but he does have two refiners over here, so he's going to be fine on the eco side of things. Let's see how Drip T's doing there. Uh, yeah, they're both doing okay there. Assets are, you know, a little bit ahead, about 8,000 ahead there, so that's not too big. He's only... Oh, it looks like Creo's actually 2k ahead in earn, so that's uh, probably just the difference in here. And a Drip T doesn't have, like, a real true expansion. He kind of... He's just now getting it there, but that's fine. Yeah, I need to bring all this down here. He's gonna lose that harvester there, but I mean that's really not the big of a deal. He can just sit right here and kill all the there's no tanks for Creo, although he is gonna expand here. I wonder if that harvester will pick that up, but it probably won't for a while. Yeah, Trip T's big mistake here is he wanted to attack here, which is fine, but I think he lost track of this MCV over here. And uh, had he killed that off, it, this game might have actually been over. Gonna lose it or find it there, but there wasn't a harvester there anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, needs to get this tank a little bit tucked in. There we go, just like that. This whole army's gonna go down. It's a really good position by Trip T here. He might. Oh, just the last rocket kills I take. That sucks. But again, not the biggest grand scheme of, not the biggest thing in the grand scheme of things. Uh, he just needs to, you know, rally. And he's gonna attack here again. But I, yeah, forgetting this is kind of a problem. Now this harvester is gonna finally know that he's over there. See if there's a response from, uh, would love to see a rally point change. It looks like he's just still rallying everything down here. 
if he comes over here and goes after the eco, that would be really good. But if he tries to go through these pillboxes again, that's going to be a little bit bloody. I mean, he has plenty of tanks there, so that shouldn't be a problem. But another light tank over here. Just doing a little bit of scouting. And he's going to come down here with an MCV and probably lose it. Mine layer goes down. All the hearts are going to get away. Uh, he's got to be careful running those infantry. Yeah, he's going to lose a bunch. Yeah, this mountain's kind of getting in the way of his flank right here. That's okay. Loses one tank. Kills the refinery, though. That's a lot of his eco down, but he can just transfer it over here with a, another refinery. That MCV did go down. I don't think Creo has a SD yet, so he can't capture that. But yeah, looks like Trip T is going to realize that send everything over there. But he has to be careful. Uh, he's kind of in a bad position here, and you know he's losing a bunch of his army. Tanks are going to get away, but that's okay. Oh no, he's sending that back to SD again, and it's going to go right into the minefield. Yeah, this is pretty well protected too here. So he just needs to kind of go back, and uh, I would really like to see him do a base push again. Uh, that worked really well from the first time. You know, it doesn't have to be the tank goes down again. It doesn't have to be anything like super big. Just put here, push a test the cola right here, and then that'll shut down the war. And then he could come from this side and flank it if he really wants to. Uh, all he really needs to do is deny the eco. Uh, he does need to take care of this over here. All these harvesters actually might go down from his own mines. Oh, he's going to save that one and he's going to reshoot that one back. Little flank here. Actually gets a harvester. That's not great. Uh, he is kind of aware since he does have uh, tanks over here. This would also be a pretty good time to tech up. He's going to attack here, but there's quite a big force here now. These tanks are in decent position. Light tank doesn't get any crushes. But yeah, these pillboxes are tearing him up. He's gonna retreat here, but he really should just keep pushing in. He's gonna retreat the infantry back, focus the other turret. Now the pillbox. Oh, and another pillbox comes down. This is the last rocket soldier. One more. And it's dead. Uh, yeah, he could probably keep pushing in there. I mean, three heavy tanks is maybe a little bit too much for those to handle, but he should be all right. This one little rocket soldier is still poking at the harvester. It might actually get it if Trip T's not paying attention. Got another MCV out since he lost that other one. Yeah, he's finally going to notice it. That's great. These tanks are finally going to get home. Uh, looks like Rio did lose a harvester here from his own mines. He's got these two full ones there over there. He's going to backwards expand, pick that up, which is great. It looks like um, it's kind of weird how this map is lit right now. Trip T has this, but he's not harvesting there. Rio's got both corners. And this little flank right here is going to go down. Might take a light tank too. These light tanks are going to slowly pester that to death. And this harvester refinery right here is probably not going to go down. He does have three rockets there, but yeah, I think he's going to catch that with the little overshooting force. Got quite. Okay, good. I like to see the, the tier two tech right there. It looks like Creo is not on tier two yet. Uh, he could definitely be going to tier two too, and I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out shortly. Light tank's gonna go down. That light tank's also gonna go down. And, uh, kind of a bad conga line here, but Trip T's kind of got a bad angle himself. Flamethrowers are gonna get some barbecue in, and then the whole army's gonna go down. Let's see where the army difference is 51 to 37, so it's still really good to not half anymore, but that army value difference is huge. Uh, that's, you know, triple what, uh, Creo has. I don't know if another flank went down here. I think I remember he cleared it up, but uh, he's got quite a bit of harvest. He needs to transform around. Really should place a refinery down here and get these uh, double ore patch harvesting for him. Yeah, this is quite a lot here. I mean, one flame tower is not going to deal with that. Same time, uh, if he loses as much of these harvesters, it's not the biggest thing. It would suck, but he has plenty of extra. B2s should be able to deal with that if he's smart about it. Let's see which attack happens first. Looks like this harvester is going to probably get one shot as soon as it goes into range. As soon as the North Cell spawns right here, we're going to go down. Oh, the harvester is going to get away, but yeah, that foam tower is going to go down. Those technicians actually doing really well. That tank on a bad uh, rally point there, just too congested. Yeah, he can just slowly push in with these... Uh, B2's over there. He's got the act too. He can totally see everything. Did lose a bunch of harvesters over here, it looks like. 
And I can see there's a sneaky MCV over there with the turret too. So he's going to push in here. He just needs to be careful. Yeah, half his army is going to get split just because it is so choky. But he's got more than enough to deal with it. At the same time, he's going to maybe lose his MCV. Nope, he's aware of it. Nice, nice. Is going to lose all his harvesters over there, which is actually going to hurt his eco. Yeah, this is... Ooh, that's a really bad conga line. Just need to take care of this attack a little bit better. Probably should just use the V2s to slowly slow little down, honestly. This attack looks like they got the War Factory over there. And uh, they're going to actually clean up the SD probably too. Yeah, needs to send this army in. He's leaving this army out to dry. He's finally going to send this army in now and the tank's in front. So that's going to be nice. Does kill the MCV with the Yak, which is great. This army's still going over here. They haven't got the ST yet, but uh, it looks like they were camping the rally point. Ooh, this V2 could be really good. Unless it's on an attack move and it's just going to probably kill his own barracks. We'll see. Yep. Oh, it looks like he's, uh, no, he needs to finish that. Kill the pillbox. Kill the pillbox. Don't leave that alive. Yeah, that V2 could probably just be a little bit better with the target fire, but still getting good trades. And, uh, yeah, he, I don't know why he retreated here. He definitely needs to finish that off. So kill the harvesters. It's like Brio's finally on tier two. Well, it's gonna go down, and he's not aware of this turret. That sucks. This MCV is kind of been very sneaky. Reminds me a lot of the main MCVs of just ruthless aggression and dropping turrets everywhere on your back line. You're like, how did you even get an MCV there? It's it's like three minutes into the game. I'm just now noticing it. Is he gonna go in? But I mean, he should go in with a little bit more. It's like he built his own mine layer, but. The only mines are right there. Oh, and I see a spy coming out here too. And it's gonna go all the way down there. I think probably better off with something else here. Gets the turret, which is nice, but the MCV got away. This heavy tank is nice, but he should probably just clean this up. There's no reason to leave it here. He's got, you know, the V2s will easily take care of that. And uh, yeah, he's probably looking for the MCV. Probably be using that uh, Yak as a scout to find it. Doesn't know that it's over here. But if Kriya moves this back right here, he'll eventually figure it out. Oh, it looks like Dirty's actually going to try to mine that flank, which is funny. He might actually catch the MCV later on. Who's going to be the first to go tier 3 in this? I see another spy. I don't think that spy made it in. It might have. Oh, there it is right there. That's definitely going to get in. And uh, it's not going to get anything of value because Dirty's actually kind of broke right now. <laughs> Two Blackhawks managed to kill the SD. I wonder if killing the uh, mine layer made it do more damage. I don't think two Blackhawks should be able to kill an SD. This one medium or heavy tank's probably going to get some good veterancy, kill two harvesters, the refinery in the pillbox. So there's going to be more than enough there. This little creek looks a lot like uh, Kriya's color, and it keeps confusing me. I think there's something over there. He's got another spy coming in here, and he's going to go into the rough again, but once again. Kriyo is broke and Trip T is also broke, so it's not going to do any advantage. Trip T really needs to reestablish here. Doesn't look like he has a war factory. He's not building one, he's just building air and uh, infantry, which is, I mean, it's not fine, uh, bad. There is a lot of defenses here, and V2s would be really good at just busting through. He doesn't have any AA, so he could be using the axe to uh, do things. <laughs> it looks like that minefield did uh, grab a harvester there, that's kind of funny. Like the spy is about to go in again. And yeah, he's not going to get any money. The little infantry army got cleaned up there. Definitely needs ore factory. And he's slowly building it. Uh, that take shouldn't die to that pillbox, but it might just because of the bad Q. First artillery is out there. And uh, Trip T finally sees this little detachment there. Might lose that yak. Looks like he, yeah, it's going to go down. Oh, never mind. They got caught on a move order. Really good use of the act there. B2 is wasting their shot on the harvesters. That's okay. Yep, needs a target fire. That got it. Uh, really needs to keep that yak alive to kill that artillery. That could be really bad, but that B2 taking a pillbox. Oh, it actually barely lives. Oh no, his own mines. No, not that big of a deal. That MCV is going to go down. Nope, it's going to get away. Well, that's a lot of Blackhawks there. Good target fire. 
He's gonna get the second one, but he's gonna lose the V2. Oh, loses the other V2. That's actually big. Yeah, he paid a little bit more than he needed to with that. We got a pair drop down there that might eventually grab a Harv. Oh, that artillery is really gonna do a lot of work there. That MCV somehow lives, so. Yeah, this is just Trip T being broke. He needs to harvest here, get some reps going up. Uh, still kind of trying to get that refinery out or refractor out, which he should be, but yeah, he's on one harvester right now, two harvesters. I think that's the biggest deal. Where Creo, his eco really hasn't been touched since the early game. And yeah, he's he's earned about 10k more, which is not the biggest difference in the world, but 10k more now is really big. A little bit of a waste on those pair bombs right there. Would have probably been better off in all the infantry. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, this is starting to look a little rough for T, uh, Trip T. It looks really good in the beginning, and now uh, just didn't take care of his eco, and I think that's his biggest problem. Could have maybe base pushed a little bit more aggressively, but you know that's not everybody's cup of tea. A lot of people don't like base pushing, and it's fine. It's a legitimate strategy, but it's also hard to pull off. And uh, doing what he did was fine. He just he needs to take care of his eco. That's, that's his biggest problem. Good target fire on the Blackhawk. The Blackhawk couldn't retreat. See another spy coming in, and and these really aren't that important. Send it into the barracks, or you know, there's an airfield there too. Getting that vengeance would probably be great. Trip T is not on tier three yet, and neither is Creo. So uh, looks like once again we're never going to see those Blackhawks or those uh, Longbows. Blackhawk goes down. You should see that spy. Looks like he's not aware of it. And actually, it's going to get 500 this time. That was 794. Not, not a bad gig. I mean, it's paid for itself, plus 200. It's A-Gun's in a really good spot. It's nestled behind everything. Uh, it's going to get full range when it does come. Oh! Loses the act there. That sucks. Just this harvester is going back, too. Needs to get that tank in front. Looks like it did survive killing that pillbox earlier, but... He doesn't have an SD right now, so you can't really repair it, and that's, you know, you don't want to lose a Vet 2 tank like that, unfortunately. And Creo is more than aware of this. Ooh, that artillery is going to have some great shots. Oh, good retreat there, but he's going to lose the tank, unfortunately, and that army needs to fall back. And Creo's just slowly taking his way back. This is the gauntlet box down there. One more. Oh, no, that Blackhawk's going to get away. Trip T has a lot of cash now, so it looks like he stopped his uh, infantry production. It looks like he's not even producing any army right now, just uh, just now started again. And uh, unfortunately his other harvester is actually going to probably die to this little flank right here. The stack's trying to find an angle, but yeah, that, ar that artillery is going to be for free. If he goes in here, it's going to die though, and he really needs that yak. Oh no, and his other harvester is going to go down too, so... Trip T is going to be down to one barely functioning harvester. This one's going to get away from now, but as soon as it goes back again, it's going to die. It's still five seconds off from a uh, flame tower, so this uh, Conyard actually might be in trouble. Oh, it looks like he placed it up here to stop that one. That's not great. He's going to lose his MCV. He's only got one MCV left, and this is all his tech in. He does have a V2 to come save him, but he's going to lose a refinery. Refinery doesn't matter. He just needs harvesters at this rate. And yeah, Creo's just slowly inching his way back across this map. Now they're trying to flank here on his last star, sure, but it's going to get pushed back. And once again, uh, he's just broke just because he has no harvesters. One harvester over 10, that's that's scary. This yak is uh, doing its best. Actually, might get one more rocket. Nope. Oh, that minimum fire range. Now it's going to die. Yeah, yaks like that, I their minimum range is a little too low. And the artillery shells are just going to kill all this power plants, which might put him low power. Yeah, he's going to be barely low power. going to lose his war factory here because he lost track of this. This V2 is, if it was good target fire, it might get save it, but unfortunately it's just going to kill these two rifles. Yeah, he's going to go in since he lost vision. That V2 would have been lost. Sells off there, which is nice, just denying that uh, bounty for the artillery, but yeah, he just, he's low power now, he's broke, he's on one very low functioning harv. His only MCD is over here, 
uh, his only hope would just be to sell off over here and retreat back to his corner, but at this rate, Creo definitely has more than half the map, way bigger than the army scale right now, so kind of unfortunate for Triple T. Just uh, didn't have the clothes that he really needed, but uh, really resilient by Creo just to not give up and some fancy stuff with some spies and that this turret back over here, which uh, Triple T wasn't aware of. Spies weren't too impactful. I think going into barracks would have been better or finding the War Factory, although it was dead for a while. At the same time, you know, just stopping your opponent's Inko and making them worry about spies like that is huge on the psychological scale thing, so. Trip T is finally aware of this. I don't know. He doesn't really have anything here. One flamethrower is not going to kill three harvesters. I actually don't even know if they could out kill a harvester, but a turret versus flamethrower, the turret will win, unfortunately. Crypt is going to retreat here, finally. I uh, probably should just sell these off. They're not even worth the delaying. He just needs the extra income. And this this little flank right here is still floating in the back of the wing, uh, ranks here. I do like these building flamethrowers. I just... I think he probably needs to step away. Do a little bit more rocket ro rifle and rockets at this side. Uh, these flamethrowers aren't really going to be effective for what they need. And that V2 is danger close and it's going to die. That's unfortunate. Doesn't even shoot the right target. Trip T is gonna call the GG there. So well played by Creo, staying resilient like he did. Trip T had a really good opening. I really like that base push and it was super effective. He just needed to hunt down that extra MCV over here, and then he could have dealt with this base over here. Uh, and that's just kind of where it spiraled out of control. Once he left Sims to build up, and then just didn't do anything about this for a while. Uh, that's kind of where it went downhill, and then Creo really good uh, eco snipes and eco raids, and Tripsy didn't respond too well to that. So, well played by Creo again, and I'll see y'all next week.